When Susie, the ranger's daughter, is out riding, she suddenly stumbles on the evil Professor Spears. Victor, if this test is successful, those fools in Washington will have to recognize my genius. Quick. Earphones. Ready? No strangers can invade the high mountains for long without Bigfoot and Wild Boy knowing it. Wild Boy! Natasha! Come! What's wrong? Who can you throw? That girl must have heard everything. Oh, don't worry, Victor. I know how to handle her. Quick, your earphones. Uh, human? Uh, now, Victor, track up very slowly. said he was going to do the same thing to Grand Kilo Dam. That'll flood the whole valley. Here's what I think of your warning. center with the millions of dollars the government will be giving us.
time. Only a few more minutes. If we split up, we can stop them before they get to the lake. Olata! Palo! Okay, I'll go this way. Not without me, you don't. down in those trees. Wild boy, Bonala, Sutaro. Right. Come on, let's hurry.
somewhere, Professor? See him. Ten feet tall, he ran like a horse. Uh, there was no way to stop him. Sure. Inside. Listen, Susie. Do you know anything about a giant monster and some wild boy they say caught them? Dad, you don't really believe that, do you? I mean, a scientist that can dream up a machine to wipe out a whole valley, well, he could probably dream up all sorts of things in his head, right? I guess you're right. Come on, let's go. Even a man as brilliant as the professor can do evil if he becomes too selfish.